What's going on guys? It's your boy Midnight Man. Welcome back to another tutorial on my channel today. Thank you for joining me. It always means a lot. Today I'm going to be showing the people that may own a MacBook or Apple laptop device in conjunction with the recording software OBS Studio how to record the audio. Unfortunately, the Apple software and OBS didn't make this easy by just going into the settings and then just adding, yeah, use built-in audio for the recordings. It's not that simple, unfortunately. So in this video, I'll be showing you the easiest method possible that I know, that I figured out, that's really, really good and you should follow it to record the audio on your desktop. Trust me. It works. You don't even have to use that Soundflower application that you might know about if you've been doing research on this already. That has some kinks. It's a little bit old. The person that actually developed it just abandoned it, so I don't recommend it. It can have some quirky compatibility issues if you're trying to use that on a newer version of macOS. Anyways, to get things started, you want to go to this website link right here for the shiny white box help, and it's to download I Show You Audio Capture. So now people, don't worry about trying to search for this. I did you a favor and put this link in the description below. So go check it out if you're going to be following the steps of this video. So on this page, all you have to select is download installer and just go through the steps to do a normal installation of a program on your MacBook. It's not a virus. It's safe. Don't worry. You're going to be okay. Once you have that program installed, you're going to want to do a search for audio MIDI setup. In this window, you'll be creating the audio capture for your desktop. So to do this, you want to go down to the plus button right here, and then you're going to want to create a multi-output device. Once you select that, all I'm going to select, I mean, I have my Yeti microphone plugged in right now because I'm recording with it, but you're just going to want to plug in the I Show You audio capture, so make sure that's checked, and also the built-in output device. And I have drift, drift correction off. I just thought it isn't really necessary. Make sure I show you audio capture is the master device. And then for the sample bit rate, I've just been using 44.1 kilohertz. I think this is sufficient enough. So once this is created, you can actually close out of that. You then want to go into your system preferences, go into your sound settings, and then you'll see right here, multi output device as an aggregate device. So this is what you're gonna to wanna to select. Normally you have internal speakers, but you just wanna have this multi output device selected and uh, just exit out of there. Now you wanna open up OBS Studio. The setup we did earlier is gonna help us for what we need. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is go to our settings now. Then you wanna to go to audio. And then well, right over here, you see I have mic auxiliary audio device two. Since the first one's gonna be my Yeti microphone, or you can use a default microphone if you don't own a microphone. Um, the second audio device, you're gonna to wanna to make sure it's I show you audio capture. And then you can select okay. And you'll have another mic aux audio here that you'll be able to have the desktop audio come through. Now, just remember, it's really important that every time you wanna record that desktop audio, you have to have that aggregate audio device already set up. You can't have the regular internal speakers set. I'll bring it back up on screen. You're, this is your system sound preferences here. You have to have the multi-output device selected every time that you want to record desktop audio through OBS. It just has to be like that. I can't have the headphone port selected. It won't record the audio. But if I have multi-output, it will work. And let me prove that to you right now. We're gonna listen to some Pac-Man World 2 jams. Here we go. As you see, it's not coming through right now, but right when I press this play button, you should be able to hear the jams as well. And there it is. Maybe that's too loud. Okay, let me pause you. Uh, <laughs> Yo, what's up? Oh, you have mail for me? My lucky day. Jury so. duty? Are you serious? What? <laughs> the judge, what the, yeah, whether or not they're guilty or not, and you have to be one of the people who say yay or nay. Oh my goodness, I didn't think this would ever happen to me. Um, okay, well that's the end of the video, guys. End of the tutorial, hopefully it helped you out. If it did, subscribe to the channel, like the video, helps me out a lot. 
Um, if you have any questions regarding this method, this tutorial, just let me know, comment below. I will get back to you, I promise. That's just what I do around here. Besides that, I'll see you guys in my next video. I can't, I can't believe I juried, wow. I hate getting mail. See you guys. Peace.